Hello everyone, hope so you all are doing good. Welcome to another video from Pearson Solution. This time it's our unit 2 Excel Chapter 3 Simulation Lab. Okay, just click that and it will open for us. You can save the quiz to the work on later. Oh, okay, I will not save it for later. I will do it in one attempt. Let's start this simulation lab. And we will click the launch button so it will open the simulation lab and load the resources for us. You can see it's loading the resources. PS on my lab, my connection is average. Your connection need to be good. Average or above that so it will work for you. Select the range A4 to F11. This is A4 to F11. You can see this is F11 and use the insert tab to create a clustered column chart so in the first step we are going to create a clustered column chart and this is this is the one you can see oh sorry we a4 to f11 sorry it's not that this is a4 and this is f11 insert tab and this is the clustered column chart cut the chart control x and paste it in A15. This is Control V. You can see it is saying now that you have to adjust the height of the column chart to 3.5 inches and width to 6.3 inches. Select the chart, come to the chart design, sorry, not come to the format tab and change the chart height from here to 3.5, and the width. To 6.3 inches 6.1 2 and 3 okay with this our question number first is completed it's moving on to the question number 2 in this question we have to select two ranges a4 to a11 this is a4 to a11 and e4 to f11 this is E4 to F11 come to the and use the recommended chart feature it will also appear in the insert tab this is the recommended chart feature to create a stack bar chart what is this this is stack bar chart ok second one click the ok or enter button and you will get the desired chart now it is saying that you have to change the chart from stack bar to a default clustered bar clustered bar ok select that chart and change the chart type this is clustered bar this is the default clustered bar chart and click ok and chart type will be changed move the selected bar chart this bar chart is selected to a chart sheet name so we have to move our chart to a new sheet from here click the new sheet and write the name 2024 to 2025 click ok there we go question number two is completed now it's moving on to the question number three of our simulation lab excel chapter three Display the 2025 data sheet. On the 2025 data sheet, select the range A4 to B10. This is A4 to B10. And use quick analysis. This is quick analysis to create a default pie chart. This is come to the chart tab and this is the pie. Just click that and you will get the default pie chart. It is here. Chart is already selected. So you have to move the chart to a sheet name, new sheet, the name of the sheet is 2025 pie chart, click ok, there we go, our question number 3 is also completed, now it's moving on to the question number 4, it is saying that you have to display the attendance sheet on the attendance sheet select the range a4 to a11 
a4 to a11 and f4 to g11 press control f4 to g11 choose insert tab to create a clustered column combo chart with a line on secondary axis this is combo chart clustered column line on secondary axis clustered column line on secondary axis combo chart click that and the chart will be created for us chart is already selected it's located here you can see this is the chart come to the chart design tab and move the chart to a sheet name this one 2025 combo chart press enter you can press enter you can press ok there we go with this our question number 4 is completed now it's loading the resources for question number 5 type uh, as a chart title we have to add uh, give the chart uh, combo chart a chart title just select that chart title and come here to the formula bar and write here 2025 job fair attendance from here you will you can clearly see that what you are writing like you can check the spelling of this if you type it here it will be quite difficult to write the chart title so that's why after selecting that come to the formula bar and write here the chart title and then um, press enter chart title as you can see inserted then you have to come to the home tab and it is saying that you have to bold the chart bold the title bold the title it's bold and change the font size to 16 you can change the font size from here like 16 you can increase the font size from here and decrease from here like if we increase the font size to 15 and 16 there we go you can see apply blue ascent one theme color to the chart title this is chart title it's already selected blue ascent one just click that question number five is completed now we are moving on to the question number six of our simulation lab chapter three use the chart element button to display the primary vertical axis title select that chart first of all select that chart and come to the chart design and then click the down arrow chart element add the chart element from here and this is the axis title what we have primary vertical this is primary vertical axis click that and it will be so you have to select I have deleted all of the data here and now I will type location in that box and after uh, uh, writing the location I will press the enter vertical axis title is already selected now you have to change the font size to black text one from here there we go modify the horizontal value axis so that minimum is double click that and the minimum is one th uh, eleven thousand triple one double one and triple zero and press enter keep the format axis pane displayed sorry it's not minimum we have to change that for maximum there we go and modify the horizontal value axis so that minimum bound is bound is one thousand it's minus 1000 we have to change it to just 1000 remove the minus sign and press enter there we go change the horizontal axis display unit to thousands 
drag it down and you can see the display units we have to change it to the thousands and then close the task pane from here what's next it is saying that you have to apply a black text on font color to the horizontal axis title black text one there we go with this our question number six is also completed now it's moving on to the question number seven it is saying that display the outside and data label on the pie chart click the chart element data label outside and click that and then close the chart element there we go use the format data label task pane to display percentage data label more option percentage data label and then remove the value data label and then close the task pane okay apply bold to the data label data labels are already selected come to the home tab and then apply bold there we go then change the font size to 14 change the font size from here to 14 there we go question number 7 is also completed now it's uh, moving on to the question number 8 it is saying that with the pie chart selected format the chart area with gradient fill format chart area is already open gradient fill using the present gradient you have to change the gradient from here present gradient light gradient is in two second column first row so this is a shortcut second column and first row light light gradient is in two click that okay what's next it is saying that you have to add a alt text come to the format tab and then click the alt text and write here the pie chart displays the include the period then close the text pane you can see the alt text is added to our chart what's the next step it is saying that apply a purple solid fill color to the lake mary slice first of all look for the lake mary slice it's not it's not this is the lake mary slice just double click that and solid fill what color it is saying that purple solid fill this is the purple in the standard lost color in the standard color click that and this will be applied next part of this question number eight is export the central orlando slice by five percent where is the central orlando slice this is the central orlando slice and we have to explode it from serious option okay to five percent press enter there we go close the task pane you can see question is complete apply style 5 chart style to the bar chart in 2024 to 2025 sheet this is the sheet and this is the bar chart and it's already selected we have to apply the style 5 select apply from here okay there we go question is also completed it's moving on to the question number 10 
what it is saying it is saying that you have to display the attendance data sheet this is the attendance data sheet select the column chart where is column chart there we go this is the column chart and then change the data source to this one okay chart design select data there we go attend this data a4 to a11 comma attend this data attendance data c4 to f11 so this is c4 to f11 okay press okay sorry we have to add it in another way okay so attendance data a4 to a11 and attendance data c4 to f11 and press okay there we go the data source is changed with the column chart select it switch the rows and column you can switch the rows and column simply by clicking this there we go switched question number 10 is completed now we are moving on to the question number 11 what it is saying it is saying that you have to insert the column spot line in the range g5 to g11 insert tab column spot line b5 to f11 it's already selected and press okay show the low points check that box and low points will be shown simultaneously apply a red spark line style dark 3 red spark line style 3 this is the one okay modify the vertical axis of the spark line so that minimum and maximum value option are both set to same for all spark line this is the exit option access option same for all spark line and vertical axis minimum value same for all maximum value same for all spark line okay there we go our simulation exam for chapter 3 unit 2 is done you can see the grade if you want me to do this exam for you just hit me on whatsapp or email i can do this full course for you i can help in other courses if you want me to do like accounting, finance, mathematics, statistics and all writing stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. Just uh, contact me on WhatsApp or email. Thank you so much. Goodbye. You can see it's 100%.